His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronised the inauguration of the Special Security Forces Commands, the SSFC, new building and facilities in Safra Camp, as part of the Kingdom's celebration of its national days and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, as well as Bahrain Police Day. Upon his arrival, he was received by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony was also attended by their Highnesses and senior officials.
following the national anthem, His Majesty the King toured the new facilities at the Safra camp, which were designed and built according to the latest construction methods and provided with all facilities that guarantee the provision of security services. His Majesty hailed the opening of the facilities, expressing appreciation for the efforts of the Minister of Interior.
His Majesty unveiled the plaque marking the inauguration of the building and wrote a message in the guest book in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister and all the Ministry's affiliates for their national efforts in maintaining security. He affirmed that the new facilities and security and logistical potentialities at Camp Safra reflect Bahrain's high readiness to protect its security and its capability of facing challenges. The Minister of Interior then delivered a speech on the occasion. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم القائد لعلى القوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي الأخوة الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني بكل معاني الولاء ومشاعر الفخر والاعتزاز أن أرفع إلى مقام جلالتكم السامي أجل آيات الشكر وعظيم الامتنان باسمي ونيابة عن منتسبي وزارة الداخلية كاف على تفضل جلالتكم بالزيارة الكريمة لافتتاح المنشآت الجديدة بمعسكر سافر في إطار رعاية جلالتكم المتواصلة لمنسوبي شرطة البحرين والحرص على دعمهم ورعايتهم تقديرا لإخلاصهم وتضحياتهم في أداء واجبهم الوطني حفاظا على الأمن والنظام انطلاقا من رؤية جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم نحو أهمية البناء والتطوير والتحديث وتهيئة كافة السبل تحقيقا للاستقرار والطمأنينة والبناء سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة إن شرطة البحرين في ظل مسيرة قيادتكم المباركة وما وصلت إليه اليوم من تطور واستعداد وعدة وجاهزية وخبرة أصبحت ولله الحمد في وضع يهيئها للقيام في مساهمتها في المسؤولية الوطنية لإعلاء شأن البحرين ورفعة مكانتها معبرا عن خالص الامتنان والاعتزاز لما نلقاه من توجيه ومتابعة ودعم من قبل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله نحو التحول إلى شرطة عصرية ليكون لها دورها الفاعل في حماية المكتسبات الوطنية والحفاظ على الأمن والازدهار سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة إننا وبحضور هذا الجمع الكريم وفي رحاب هذه الوحدة الأبية نستذكر دورها الوطني في حفظ الأمن ورجالها المخلصين الذين وجدت فيهم خصال البسالة والرجولة والتضحية والالتزام والعطاء المستمر سيدي يا صاحب المروءة الوطنية والضمير والوجدان إن ضاق بالأمر رأي أو ألم خطب أو ضيم فأنتم للبحرين موضع الأمل وعنوان الحكمة والإباء شيدتم الأساس وارتفعت الهمم عزة وسيادة وتبقى حكمة قيادة جلالتكم نبراسا مضيئا للشرطة في البحرين وهي تمضي في مسيرتها أداة للقانون بحزم وعدالة وإخلاص وإنسانية وشجاعة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة في الختام فإننا جميعا نجدد لجلالتكم في هذا اليوم العز الذي شرفتموه 
ليكون أحد أيام الوطن الأهدى والولاء والسمع والطاعة حماة للحق رجالا أوفياء أمناء مخلصين ولسان حالهم في الروح إصرار وفي الأعماق أمل وإقدام ومن شرفات قلوبهم قوة يقين ورسالة أمن واستقرار ماضينا تحت قيادة جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم ملكا وقائدا لهذه المسيرة المظفرة وأنتم تنعمون في أثواب العزة والرفعة والكرامة ودمتم سالمين سيدي Then, His Majesty honoured the Royal Police Academy's military pace sticking team, which achieved first place in the International Military Pace Sticking Championship for the tenth time since its participation in the tournament in 2009. At the end of the visit, His Majesty the King congratulated the Minister of the Interior and all ministries affiliates on Bahrain Police Day, which coincides with Bahrain National Days, appreciating the efforts of the brave security officers and their constructive role and the high morale and discipline they possess to carry out their lofty mission to protect the nation's gains, achievements, unity, safety and security of its citizens and residents. His Majesty expressed and say thanks and pride in the continuous efforts made by the brave security officers in performing their national duty to maintain security and stability in the country and praise their achievements in security work and the professional approach, high readiness and security capabilities. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the sacrifices of the security officers and their dedication to their duty. His Majesty praised their solidarity and joint work between the Ministry of Interior the Bahrain Defence Force, the National Guard and the National Security Agency. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks to the Minister of Interior and all ministries affiliates for the ministry's continuous advancement. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain will remain always free, secure and safe and moving steadily on the path of development and progress thanks to its loyal people. His Majesty the King also instructed the attendees to convey his greetings and appreciation to all the ministry's affiliates, wishing everyone continued success. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated the Majesties, the Kings and Heads of States of numerous countries on the occasion of Christmas. In His Majesty's cables, he extended wishes of health and happiness to the leaders and of progress and prosperity to their countries and peoples. 
On the occasion, His Majesty the King also expressed his wishes of peace and prosperity for the world and all of humanity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 26 of 2023, endorsing the Air Services Agreement signed between the governments of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Chile, following its approval by the Shura Council and the Representatives Council. According to the law, the agreement concluded on February the 26th, 2023, has been ratified. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet affirmed the importance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's address on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national days, the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne and the accompanying national events. The cabinet highlighted the citizens' celebrations on Bahrain's national days and thanked the countries that have congratulated the kingdom. The Cabinet commended the organisational efforts of the ministries and concerned government entities that contributed to the success of the National Day celebrations. The Cabinet then commended the opening of the Special Security Forces Command's new building and facilities in Safra on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day celebration, the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne and Bahrain Police Day, held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The Cabinet congratulated the Minister of Interior and the employees of the Ministry of Interior on the inauguration, acknowledging that it will bolster their ongoing efforts in delivering exemplary security systems. The Cabinet extended its condolences to Kuwait, the Emir, the Government and its people following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Subah. The Cabinet reflected on the virtues of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf and his efforts in advancing Kuwait's comprehensive development while serving his people as well as Arab and Islamic nations. The Cabinet wished the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Subah, success in achieving progress and prosperity for Kuwait and its people following taking the constitutional oath as Emir of Kuwait. The Cabinet also congratulated the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, on his re election and wished him success in fulfilling his presidential duties to realise the aspirations of the Egyptian people for further progress and prosperity. The Cabinet congratulated allied countries on Christmas, wishing them further progress and prosperity. As the new year approaches, the Cabinet extended its wishes for 2024 to be a year of advancement and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. It also expressed hope for global peace, security and prosperity across the world. His Royal Highness directed the continuation of development and innovation to enhance the quality and efficiency of government services for the people of Bahrain. He urged all government service centres to strive for excellence in delivering exceptional services that meet the present and future aspirations of Bahraini citizens. In line with these directives, the Cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding the outcomes of the fourth evaluation round, Thakim, for the government service centres in 2023, where 71 government centres were evaluated, 18 received the gold criteria and six others received the silver criteria. The Cabinet expressed its thanks and appreciation to the centres that received the gold and silver categories for their efforts in developing the services to citizens. Upon reviewing the memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance, the Cabinet examined the Bahrain Economic Quarterly Report for the third quarter of 2023. The report highlighted a 2.5% annual growth in GDP in real terms, driven by a 4.5% increase in non-oil sector, which accounted for around 83.6% of real GDP. From January to October of this year, the average consumer price index, inflation, remained steady at 0.2%. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting, approving the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding the launch of the real estate information bank platform ACARI. This platform aims to offer precise and up-to-date real estate data to the government, private sector and investors. It operates through an integrated electronic platform, providing information on the quantity and worth of real estate transactions, property specifics, maps, land classification, and locations of commercial complexes, healthcare facilities, and educational institutions. 
a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding two draft laws ratifying the agreements between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the State of Guernsey, and the Government of Hong Kong, a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China, regarding the elimination of double taxation and income taxes and the prevention of tax evasion and tax avoidance. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a declaration of intent between Bahrain's Ministry of Interior and the Republic of Austria's Ministry of Interior to strengthen security cooperation between the two countries. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the Memorandum of Understanding between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the United States of America for cooperation in the field of higher education. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Education and Training Quality Authority regarding the approval of the authority's reports. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs and the Government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. Participation in the 44th session of the Supreme Council of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Participation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs in an event to mark the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the UDHR. Outcomes of the official visit to the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the United Kingdom. Outcomes of the participation in the sixth session of the Russian Arab Cooperation Forum at the ministerial level. Participation in the Global Labour Market Conference. Outcomes of the participation in the 28th Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP28. Participation in the 12th Arab Energy Conference and the 111th Meeting of the Council of Ministers of the Organisation of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries, OAPEC. Participation in the 43rd Session of the Council of Arab Ministers for Social Affairs. The external participation of various ministers and visits of foreign delegations to the Kingdom of Bahrain in January 2024. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Musalim, the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, and the Deputies and the Heads of the Committees at Qadabia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of maintaining collaboration between the executive and legislative authorities to extend successes across various sectors and support the Kingdom's development in line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the efforts of Team Bahrain, which include the executive and legislative authorities, private sector and civil societies that the Kingdom relies on to advance Bahrain's development and further its achievements through united national action. His Royal Highness noted that the productive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities has yielded achievements aligned with citizens' aspirations and has bolstered the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness emphasised that Bahrain's positive economic indicators affirm that the Kingdom is on the path to achieve economic growth, noting that these promising economic results should benefit Bahraini citizens and provide additional employment opportunities. He highlighted the importance of security as a cornerstone of development, noting the efforts of the Kingdom's security systems in this regard, which is a source of pride for all. His Royal Highness emphasised that Bahrain citizens remain the central pillar of the Kingdom's development and that achieving their aspirations is a priority. He commended the united efforts dedicated to securing the Kingdom's development for the benefit of the people, affirming that these endeavours stand as an enduring source of pride. His Royal Highness also commended the efforts of the legislative authorities in supporting plans and initiatives that further the Kingdom's development and benefit citizens. For their part, the Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, which benefits the Kingdom and its citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent cables of congratulations to the Majesties and their Excellencies, the Kings, Presidents, Crown Princes, and Prime Ministers of numerous countries on the occasion of Christmas. 
In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished the leaders health and happiness, as well as further progress and prosperity for their countries and peoples. His Royal Highness further expressed the hope that security, peace and better welfare would prevail throughout the world for the whole of humanity. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, issued a circular on the 2024 New Year holiday. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, state departments and public institutions will be closed on Monday, the 1st of January 2024. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the winning clubs and individuals of the Khalid bin Hamad Gold Generation League for the previous season in the presence of the representatives of sports federations, clubs and a number of senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted that the Gold Generation League launched by the GSA in the 2022-2023 season aims to build a solid base of athletes who are capable of competing at the highest level in various sports, as well as promote the sports culture and fair competition among younger generations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the success of the first edition of the Gold Generation League, in which seven federations participated in the youth category, praising the accompanying excellent organisation of the exciting competitions, creating suitable conditions for the players to acquire many skills and experiences. His Highness noted that the Gold Generation League will contribute to preparing a generation whose members are familiar with the culture of sportsmanship, fair competition, cooperation, one-team cohesion and collective work, noting that it also aims to create a generation of prominent, talented athletes who will be able to attain landmark achievements at external sporting championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated all the top winning clubs, wishing the rest success in the second edition of the Gold Generation League, which has already started. His Highness called on building the success of the first edition to ensure that the 2023 to 2024 edition will be more distinguished. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Amsalem, affirmed the Legislative Authority's keenness on continuing efforts in cooperation with the Executive Authority to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King. He held the efforts in support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the achievements made in all developmental paths through the National Action Approach and the coordination between the two authorities. On the occasion of the meeting with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Amir Salam noted that serving the nation and its people will remain a top priority. He affirmed the support to economic growth, the provision of quality job opportunities for Bahraini citizens and the endeavour to develop the legislative system in all fields and sectors. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh praised the constructive and fruitful cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. He stressed the endeavour to continue building and moving forward with sustainable growth between the two authorities to serve the national action. The Chairman expressed his appreciation for the keenness and interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to continue strengthening all aspects of cooperation between the two authorities. Al Saleh hailed the positive results achieved by national projects in a number of fields that constitute a basic pillar of the national economy and the remarkable contribution to the economic growth, which confirms the government's efforts to achieve prosperity for Bahrain and its people. He stressed the importance of joining national efforts within Team Bahrain to achieve further economic and social gains. The Labour Fund Tam Kim affirmed that its new initiatives and programmes to support recruitment and training will include new incentive grants for institutions that achieve development goals that include creating quality job opportunities for Bahrainis. 
The fund confirmed that it seeks in the coming period to expand its support for institutions to develop and grow their businesses, especially institutions that seek to raise the productivity of Bahrainis and support their innovation. Tim Keener works to enhance the career development of Bahraini cadres to be the first and best choice in the labour market by providing direct and indirect financial support and sponsoring their training, qualification and developmental efforts. The 34th edition of the Autumn Fair continues to attract visitors from inside and outside Bahrain by presenting a variety of products from various countries. The fair represents a shining mark in the history of the exhibition industry and the organisation of major commercial events in the kingdom. Over the course of nine days, the fair offers a variety of entertainment and hospitality options, with the participation of restaurants, cafes and a large play area for children at Exhibition World Bahrain. These events support achieving the goals of Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022 to 2026, which includes diversifying the tourism product. The Heritage Village Festival in Ras Hayan, will, which includes with Bahrain celebration in its national holidays, continues its activities. The festival includes various activities, programmes and opportunities to enjoy the atmosphere of the Heritage Village. The buildings and urban models it contains reflect different stages of the history of Bahrain. The festival also includes various activities for the public that combine the past and present, such as Bahraini heritage activities, historical and heritage exhibitions, folk bands, handicrafts, police band performances, a diverse market that includes popular and modern products, and training and entertainment programmes for children.